Hey guys, what's up? This is Maggie Usama from Online Learning School and today I'm going to show you how you can create animated accent explosions easily in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is that I'll hit Ctrl or Command N to create a new composition. Then click OK. Now I'm going to the timeline here. Right click New and select Shape Layer. Then open it up. Go to the Add button here. Open it. And here I'll add a rectangle. I will also add a stroke. Now let's animate this rectangle. My time indicator is set at the beginning of our timeline. I will open up a rectangle path one. Click on the stopwatch beside size and position. Set the size to zero. Now go to 20 seconds. Then I'll set the position Y value to about negative 379. And I'll set the size value to 100. Now let's play and see what we have so far. Great! Next I'll open up the stroke. I'll set the stroke to 7. And now I'll hit I on my keyboard to set my time indicator to the beginning of my timeline. Click on the stopwatch beside stroke width. Then go to 20 seconds and set the stroke width value to 0. Now let's play and see what we have so far. Perfect! This looks good to me. Now we need more copies of this rectangle. So simply I'll go to the add button here and add a repeater. Open up repeater 1. And as you can see here, by default, we have two more copies. You can change the number of copies from here. I'll set it to 10. Next, I want these 10 copies to form a circular shape. So what I'm going to do here is that I'll open up Transform a Repeater 1. Set the position X value here to 0. Then if you change the rotation value here, you would find that it is creating a circular shape. But in order to get a perfect circle, all you have to do here is to divide 360 degrees by the number of your rectangle copies, which is 10 in our case here. So here we have a perfect circle. Let's play and see what we have so far. Great, so far so good. Now select this shape layer and hit U on keyboard to get all keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant easy ease. Then go to the graph editor here. Make sure you are in the speed graph editor. Then drag these points inward like this. And this so we could have our animation fast at the beginning, then slows down until it reaches the end. Next, I will create a copy of this shape layer by selecting it and hitting Ctrl or Command Z. So here I want these rectangles to be circles instead. So simply, I will open up this shape layer, go to Contents, then Rectangle Path 1, and then set the roundness here to 100. Now if I dragged this layer here to start at 5 frames, then click Play, you would see that we have rectangles and circles bursts. Perfect! Next, I will duplicate these two shape layers by selecting both and hitting Ctrl or Command Z. 
I'll drag them to the top here and I'll make them start from here. And now if we play this, you would see that we have this wonderful burst. Now you can change the stroke color of each shape layer. Choose the color you want, this is totally according to your preference. Now this looks good to me. Next we are going to create a straight line coming out from the middle of our composition here. So I will enable the title action save grid from here, then go to the tools bar and select the pen tool. Make sure you are unselecting all your layers here. Now go to the middle point here, make one click, then go here and while holding shift key make another click here. So here we have a straight line. To make sure it is in the middle of your composition, go to the Align panel and align it horizontally to the center. Great! Next, I'll open it up, then go to the Add button here and add Trim Path. Open up the Trim Path and set the End value to 0. Now set the time indicator to the beginning of our timeline. Click on the stopwatch beside both start and end. Then go to 20 seconds and set both start and end to 100. Now select the keyframes of start and drag them here to start at 3 frames. And now select all keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then go to the graph editor and in the speed graph drag this point inward. Now let's solo this line shape layer by clicking on this dot column here beside it. Then click play and see if you are happy with the animation. Perfect, this looks good to me. Next we are going to add more copies of it and create a perfect circle just as we have done with the rectangle shape. So I'll go to the add button here and add a repeater. Then open up repeater 1 and set the number of copies to 10. Then open up transform repeater 1, set the position x value to 0, then set the rotation to 360 divided by 10. And here we have a perfect circle. You can change the stroke color if you want to. And now let's unsolo this layer. I'll drag its in point here. Now let's click play and see what we have so far. Cool! This looks perfect to me. Next, let's have some dotted lines. So here I'll select the lines shape layer, duplicate it by hitting Ctrl or Command Z, then drag its in point here, then open it up, go to stroke 1, then here beside dashes, click on the plus icon here, and here you have dashes, you can set it to whatever value you want, in my case I'll set it to around 27. And now you can change the stroke color if you want to. Now let's click play and see what we have so far. Great! So this is our tutorial for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave your comment below. Also, if you are interested to master all shape layers essentials in Adobe After Effects, you can check out the link in the description below for more information. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day!